M Rec TV. This nigga better fix my man's fucking tire, though. Yo, what tire, man? What tire? You fucking blind? This the fucking tire right here, tire oh, boy. Yo, who the fuck you calling a tire boy, man? Yo, what up, son? Who you talking Chill. to like that, man? It's you, nigga. This your motherfucking tire shop, right? Peace world, what's happening? M Rec for M Rec TV. This is an M Rec TV exclusive. Ran into the homie True. What up? What's happening, family? Everything good. What's shaking? Oh, um, what's going on in Rosedale, Queens, right now, man? Yo, this is where I'm from, man. You know what I mean? Rosedale, Queens. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Came okay. out to come see the kid right quick. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. You put out a classic, man. A street classic, 7:30. For sure. What was the whole moral of that story with the movie and all that, and why you put that movie out? Um, you know, 730's uh, uh, drama that I mm -hmm. wrote, uh, wrote, produced, directed, starred in. Of course, y'all seen it, y'all seen me. You know what I mean? Um, I just wanted to give the people some shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Really, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Some shit for us. Gotcha. You know what I mean? It kind of filled that void that was missing with Paid in Full, because Paid in Full came out a while ago, and the streets wanted something, something real similar. Yeah, but yeah. Seven Thirty kind of did that, at least for yeah, my I, eyes. I feel like people are not making films like that no mm -hmm. more. You know what I mean? Um, all this new shit is watered down, and all that shit is bullshit, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I had to come with the Seven Thirty to show y'all what a real independent film is to tell you how the truth you know what i mean that's a real independent grind film mm -hmm. you know and i did that shit from the bottom on my own so when you say independent was that out your pocket was that your bread for sure okay most definitely so an independent movie like that what was the budget like you know you ain't got to get well, into well, specifics well, well my man speedy clax in the basketball player mm -hmm. he did come in with me and, and fuck with me on the film mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so um you know, we had a we had a nice little budget. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna put it all yeah, out there like that. Mm -hmm. But we had a nice little budget. You know what I'm saying for 7:30, and um, it shows. But I'm trying to get bigger budgets right now because the shit that I'm about to do next is gonna fuck niggas' heads up. Got you, got you. Now you had the homie Gravy, aka Jamal Woodlord, in the film. For sure, for sure. Now speak on the relationship with Gravy. And um, yourself, and how that happened. Um, Getting them you know, in the movie. I didn't. You know, I, I didn't really know Gravy um, when I first got him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was all business. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? He got paid to be do the film, and and that was it. You know what I mean? Mm. So I what was the vibe like? You know what I'm saying? Like um, did y'all with him like, doing the film? Like really vibe good. The chemistry was good. Or? Um. At first we was good. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We was good. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, shit, shit got a little, a little uh, sketchy okay. towards the end <laughs> of the film. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's that Brooklyn bullshit. <laughs> nah, all, nah, all Brooklyn nah, niggas nah, not nah. like that nah, though. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> nah, nah. You know, I'm, I was born in Brooklyn. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where? Where? Yeah, Let um, niggas. On Park Avenue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? I mean Park Place. Fuck, I'm talking about no. Park Avenue. Okay. Park Place. But it is a Park you know Avenue. Oh, oh, oh. Hills. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah, I was born in Brooklyn. All my family is from Brooklyn. Still in, live in Brooklyn and all that. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm Crown Heights and Park Place. For sure, yeah. for sure. I was born in Crown Heights. My, my grandmother still lives there right now to this day. Oh, what? Yeah. Salute. Shout out to my grandmother. She 93. Oh. She still living? Yeah. Oh, shouts to his grandma. She's she 93. 93. Uh. 94 this year. Uh, salute. You know what I'm saying? Salute. So she's still over there in, in, in uh, uh, Park Place. All right. We gonna need you to talk your shit because 730, not only a hood classic, you did your fucking numbers. You did two milli on you, YouTube. Two million. I did over two million. Over let's, two million. Let me let's, let, let's get it. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get, get it, it correct. I did over two million, but I took that shit down because um, I'm doing this deal with Amazon and shit for, uh, you know, for 730 mm. right now. But, um, you know, I, I gave out enough free views, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. right now, we, we just going, you know, we getting more into the corporate side. You know what I'm saying? I gave I gave out two over 2 million views. It was, it was almost at 3 million views when mm. I took it down to, you know what I'm saying, to be specific. Gotcha. And, um, 
You know, right now we we just trying to get to the bread. You know what Salute. I mean? Salute. Salute. So, also your shit was bootlegged heavy, for sure. Like every bootlegger probably made like a hundred thousand or more of your movie and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit, that shit was bootlegged. You fed in the, the streets. streets. You fed the streets. For sure, for sure. Family. That shit was definitely bootlegged in the streets hard. You know what I'm saying? But. They ain't gonna bootleg your shit if your shit ain't they worth bootlegging. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm mm -hmm. I can't do nothing about that. They gonna bootleg everything that's hot. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. That's that comes with part of the game. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I respect it. Yes, sir. So, you know, let's go into what you got going on in the near future. What's the next film? Um, right now and shit, you know. I'm doing the Sean Bell story, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Me and Mr. Bell and Miss Bell, mm -hmm. you know, we put together an awesome script for uh, Sean Bell to tell y'all what the real story wow. is. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all seen mm -hmm. the media bullshit. That, that shit was bullshit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So um, I got the Sean Bell shit popping right now. We about to start shooting that shit. Actually, tomorrow, you mm. know what I mean? We gonna get with Mr. Bell, mm -hmm. and we gonna do a real interview with mm. him. You know what I mean? And he gonna show y'all what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We gonna get him. I just chopped it up with him myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be an MREC TV exclusive. Yeah, we you gonna get me? Mr. Bell with us. He gonna get on camera with us, and he gonna let y'all know how we moving, and we gonna do what we do. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Man, with all the police brutality going on it's like the perfect climate for that type of movie and I, um, when i first spoke to you on the phone right you already was on that page right correct like, like a few months ago well you, you know yeah. now see i just spoke to you a couple months ago but i've been wanting to do sh the sean bell movie since the sean bell shit happened mm. you understand what i'm mm. saying and this year makes 10 years mm. you know what i'm saying but i finally got the go ahead last year you know what i'm saying from mr and mrs bell you know what i mean they finally gave Salute me the rights that. yeah they finally Salute gave me the that. rights to the film you know what i'm saying so um i finally mm -hmm. got to go ahead last year got you so that's i put the script together and um we gonna make we gonna make magic say no more so what you got to say with all uh you know um black innocent black men getting killed by police and all that what's your take on that you know it's fucked up Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's definitely fucked up. Mm -hmm. If if I could say that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, you can um, say that. It's MREC TV. Say what the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah. It's say it twice. It's definitely mm -hmm. fucked up because, um, you know, if, if these motherfuckers... You know, the, the shit that I don't like, you know, the dude that just went out and killed all those cops mm -hmm. for, for black people. Let's be, let's be clear. Mm -hmm. He did it for black people mm -hmm. to let pe police know that we ain't fucking around no mm -hmm. more. We ain't taking that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The dude, he definitely, they calling the motherfucker a terrorist, all kind of shit. Y'all calling what he want, y'all want. He did the shit to stand up for black people. And anyone black should know that shit. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? He died mm -hmm. for us. He like a he fucking- He put it on the line. He like a fucking mm -hmm. Martin Luther King and shit to me. Martin Luther You know what I'm saying? Michael he's a Max. fucking, yeah. right. He's a fucking hero to me. He mm -hmm. died for us. You understand what I'm saying? But the only thing that I didn't like is, you know what I'm saying? Cause they are some good cops out oh, there. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I got some friends that's police. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna say to that is, only thing I didn't like, he didn't get the motherfuckers that actually did kill us. Mm -hmm. Like that motherfucker who killed Trayvon Martin, that motherfucker should be dead. Mm -hmm. You know, motherfuckers like that. The mm -hmm. actual motherfuckers that's doing the killing, I feel them motherfuckers should have been dead. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? Not just random motherfuckers, but I still salute him. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He stood up for black people. Say no more, man. We gonna give y'all some more probably tomorrow, man. It's an MREC TV exclusive. Salute to the homie True. Thank you. We out here at Rosedale, Queens, Brooklyn. We gone. Definitely gonna get to it, man. Yeah, definitely. If you ain't fucking around, we definitely gonna get to it. Yeah. So it's true right here, man. True Vision Films, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to go get that app, man. On Apple and Android, the 730 app. Go check that film out, man. You know what I mean? It's serious. 
I got the Sean Bell coming for the people, man. You know what I mean? That's that's probably gonna be on my app as well. That's gonna be another app. But for right now, y'all go check out that 730 app on Apple and Android. Go pick that up, man. Check that uh, 730 film out, all right? One. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC TV.